Hey, this is a demonstration of how to wrap a book with red rot in polypropanol. So, you're going to need a scrap piece of cardstock. We have this one labeled book rot um, to prevent the rot from spreading on your work surface. You'll need scissors, a bone folder, and polypropanol. So, our polypropanol comes in these rectangular sheets with the bottom edge folded. The bottom edge um, fold is kind of adhered as though when it cut it pressed it down so you need to peel that apart. So this is going to be very similar to mylar. Place the book with you know, about a millimeter or two uh, visible on the bottom edge here. And then well, at this point you need to see the grid, so remove the protective layer. But don't worry, the book's on the poly. I'll drag the poly down until the top edge shows a line that you can draw on. Let's see. And then, uh, poly is softer than mylar, so you can get a good crease with just your fingers. I would still go back and crease it with a bone holder. Then take three inches on the left side, fold down, crease it with a bone holder. Now this is the hard part. Take the left cover and insert it into the fold you just made. And then roll the book. So now I can see there's only about an inch left. <clears throat> there's only an inch left and that's going to be a problem. So I can redo this fold with just two inches. Just to give it a little better grip on both sides. And old books that are rotting like this can have weak covers, weak spines, crumbling parts, so you want to move slowly. Now I'm using the bone folder to fix this wrinkle. You can see on the other side there's a little less than two inches available. 
So I'm lining this up along a line. Unrolling the book. Folding along that line. And creasing with the bone folder. So now is the tricky part. Not hurting the book. Please slip it in to the cover. You can use the bone folder to correct some wrinkles, make it a little more stable. And that is how you put polypropanol on a book with red rot.